So NPCs can teleblock you in the wilderness now. This is gonna go over well. Uh, we're gonna talk about that in a minute. My name is Taste Life. Welcome to Behemoth. We've got some fun news for you guys today, but it's not all bad. Jagex has made some of this better. Among some other news today, we have some incredible RNG. All right, a beautiful group of people meeting up and the uh, RuneScape Twitter getting absolutely sat down. Uh, but first, we're gonna jump into some clips. Starting out with Wazi with one of the most beautiful drops in the game. Oh my god, I just got the pets, and I got the decks. Mike's gonna be so happy. T-Papa says, ugly pet IMO. He's cope. I've never heard someone cope so hard. Up next, Pierce Bam meets a rusher in the GE. Thank you. That's what I've been waiting for. Let's go. So satisfying. So, so satisfying. Guy's been specked up in everyone. 220 mil. Sit the heck down. Pewing for some reason under threat of getting oiled up does some chambers as Eric. Oh! Oh my god! What the oh, What the what, Oh my god! We're not getting oiled up today, boys! Let's go! <laughs> Dude, what the f yeah, Mr. Fat Clouds is at TOA because the only drop he needs before he does the Inferno is the Masori body. Please, bro. Please, please. It's just going to be anger. Please, bro. Oh, no shit. Oh, my God. No fucking shit. We did it. Oh, my God. We're free. I'm free. I'm free. So Fat Clouds, being a man of his word, went into the Inferno. And we'll spoil it right now because we actually don't have a clip because kick viewers are allergic to clipping. Um, he did, in fact, get the Inferno cape. Here is his tweet. Myself and several others watched this live. It was genuinely some of the best content uh, in streaming history. He milked it so hard, it took him six hours to get from wave 63 to Zuck. I'm not kidding. It took him six hours. He watched the entire hour and a half exact guide. Then he did the Zuck simulator for like another hour. Me and Prison Joe did three tobs in the time it took him to start Zuck. Anyway, huge shout out to Fat Clouds. Grats in the Infernal Cape. That was literally four attempts. Mr. Rigandau starting some Muspa. One arc ends and another starts. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are Inferno ready. You heard him right. That was the last drop he needs to start the Inferno. Good luck, Rig. I look forward to the clips. And then we've got Sushi, who's been in the Inferno for a year. She's still there. <laughs> Papa Pump getting his very first TOA purple. All right, I'm opening. Please be either a shadow or a fang. Please. It is. Oh, yes. It's a fang. Oh, that's huge. That's huge. Yes. God damn. And all of everyone's favorite pure Iron Man has started doing some Coliseum attempts on the pier. Okay, so to talk about the news I alluded to at the start of this video, don't worry, not every single NPC can teleblock you in the wilderness. That would be hilarious. But if you read the blog post where they included all the, like, Coliseum updates and stuff, uh, they also added a section about the wilderness. Essentially, they're adding undead pirates to the Chaos Temple, which is where the, uh, the Elder Chaos Druids are, which drop, like, the, the Chaos Druid robes. But for some reason, uh, they made it so that the, uh, Chaos Druids can now randomly teleblock you. I think they did it because it was too easy to, like, teleport away if you were killing those, and so it was, like, nearly useless for someone to PK you there. So, that's kind of wild. I don't... <laughs> I don't really know what the idea... I mean, I guess I know what the idea was, but it feels... It feels a little weird. I don't love it. But at the same time, I can't offer, like, a solution that would fix the problem. What do you guys... Is this weird? Do you guys think this is weird or, like, bad? Or maybe it's good. Maybe you like it. But to counteract that, they added something called a teleport anchoring scroll. Basically, it's a scroll that makes it so you don't get teleblocked. That's it. That's the whole drop. Hey, guys. Asterix here. Uh, sorry for the interruption. Just... To clarify on what Tasty's saying, I don't want to put false info out there. I'm not exactly sure if it stops the teleblock that they do, but I know for a fact that it stops the teleport attack they do where they teleport your 
player model closer to the chaos druids when you're running away um if anyone knows in the comments if it stops the teleblock too that'd be good because as of right now on the wiki it doesn't have any info on if it's just the teleblock attack or the actual like movement teleport attack that they do they have two now uh back to the video and the wiki did some crowdsourcing and check out this post here turns out they they made it one out of 20 thousand for the teleport anchoring scroll that is ludicrous it was like 15 mil or something like that but jagex did realize this was a bit excessive uh so they changed it to a one out of 275 drop from a zombie pirate's locker which you open by getting the zombie pirate keys or whatever they're called which is only a one out of 24 so combined the rate is about one out of 6600 which is still crazy because that's rarer than a champion scroll for a minor quality of life increase <laughs> yeah but yeah that's the main news we had today again i don't really know how i feel about it but to bring the mood up okay check out this insane rng we saw on reddit this might be the rarest drop of the year wow that's crazy also very cute we saw this uh clan meet up in real life they all had these uh runescape cosplays on i'm a big fan all right meeting up with your internet friends i know your parents said not to do it all right but they're old they don't got a clue what's going on all right meet your internet friends and finally for those who did not see the official runescape twitter got community noted <laughs> runescape posted about a new outfit they uh they were releasing and the note said this isn't a new outfit it's a recolored version of a three-year-old yak track outfit marketing this as new as well as claimable when the only way to claim it is part of an $11 limited edition bundle can be seen as misleading and predatory towards your player base. Ah, oh, dude, this is the only base thing I've ever seen Twitter do in my life. Anyway, thank you to RuneScape3 for consistently getting f so that we don't have to. Okay, well, if you guys want to see the most disgusting string of RNG we've seen in one singular day, um, check out the Vicon Lop. Here he is, starting at Bandos. Oh, why? Why it's the boots? Every time, every account, it's the boots. Well, I don't have to bring my Bandos boots anymore. I mean, Bandos DI. <laughs> Bandos boots don't really count as drop, in my opinion, but uh, he was not down there. Oh, guys, Bandos hill. Yes, let's go wow two drops in one trip you say <laughs> we're not done yes people let's go yes sir the bando chest plate is real yes sir let's go okay remember we did call vikan lopu to be the next hardcore to die um he said this wasn't scary but take a look and judge for yourself one more range and I'm out. I know it looks Monka, but it's not Monka. Trust me. It looks Monka, but it's not Monka. Jesus Christ. Anyway, Ari Slash got himself quite a big upgrade for the group hardcore. Oh, no way he did. Let's go. Ah! Okay, I got that out of my system. <clears throat> anyway. Mummy. Milkies. Don't clip that, actually. Do you guys think Ty was talking about almond milk or breast milk? I don't know what's going on today, but for some reason, we could only find really out-of-context clips. Anyway, here's Curtis. Put it in my mouth right now. Put it in my mouth. Doobie calls out skill specs. Feel free to clip this and send this to Skilly for me. All right, Skilly, right now, you're looking at a shell of a man, buddy. You're looking at somebody who has nothing to lose and everything to gain. He is already staring at the mirror and feels nothing. And I know you know this feeling, Skilly. You know exactly what's going through my head right now. So if you do want to pull up, my friend, just understand that you are going into the cage with a feral lion. This might be one of the most heartbreaking things I've seen in a bit here's sex haver at triple jads i wish i was on a better world i don't know i can't remember if you can switch can you switch during the inferno well that's fun man i think i'm just gonna die now dude do i just die because i'm still logged in so they're all gonna spawn i just got immediately kicked out after i logged in dude inaccessible <laughs> currently try again in a few minutes dude what 
Well, that's all we have for you guys tonight. Please remember to like the video if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you watch this every day. It helps us out a bunch. My name is Ballsy Life, and we're going to have my good friend It's Will take out the episode.